what's up? We got some crazy out of this world stories for you here on Spaced Out Thursdays at IO2. I'm Dave Waffle and let's get real. What? Okay, so before we start the video, in our last video we asked you guys, who's your favorite singer? And this is what you guys wrote. You had some really cool stuff. But in this video, guys, I want to know what is the coolest country flag to you? To me, I love the Canadian flag, our Canadian flag, but let's be really honest. Who takes a maple leaf seriously? Speaking about flags, we got something that's trending in the news. It is called the Flag of Earth. Now, we all know every other country has their own flags. Heck, even America, when they landed on the moon, they were selfish and went... We're gonna put our own stamp on this. The moon belongs to us. But it looks like by the time we go to Mars, there may be a new flag that represents everybody on the planet Earth and not just one single country. So you check it out, guys, because this is what it looks like. This was designed by Oscar Pernafeld. Now if you look at it, there's a bunch of rings, but the whole reason behind this is if you look in the middle, it's got a flower. And it's supposed to represent life. I feel like maybe it should be green on the inside because, you know, green life, plant life, that sort of thing. Because the blue is supposed to represent water. And you know, that's the reason why our planet's so awesome. It's blue and green. Either way, no, this isn't an official thing. NASA's not going, yo, we're gonna use this all the time, but he's kinda hoping that astronauts will do it and use it when they go to Mars. But now, considering we just talked about America, let's talk about America and our secret missions to the outer space. This is an unmanned X-37B spacecraft, and it just had its fourth successful launch on May 20th. However, this isn't a NASA mission. This one's done for the United States military, specifically their Air Force. Now, now, like I said, it launched on May 20th from Port Canaveral in an Atlas V rocket. Now, inside it's carrying tiny little CubeSats, about 10 of them. Now, one of these CubeSats is called a light sail, which has been developed by a non-profit planet society. You know, spacecraft is cool and all, but did you guys know that moons can dance? Well, okay, it's really a metaphor because recently people got an opportunity to see the moon's shadows dance on Jupiter. And I'm not talking our moons, I'm talking Jupiter's moons, right? Because that's kind of far away. Now, if you guys got outside on May 20th, at around 8, 10 p.m. at EDT time. Now, if you had something as simple as a 90 millimeter telescope, you'd be able to see the shadows of the moons on Jupiter. And it's crazy because you can't actually see the moons, but the shadows that they're making are like three times sizes, so they're like all over the surface. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. That's been me here on Space Out Thursdays. My name is Dave Waffle, and yeah.